What is up everybody? Jonas Scott with back in with another video. And today I am up so early. It is about 6:22 in the damn morning right now. And oh my god, why am I up this early? Holy. So today we are getting my car serviced. Uh, that's why I'm up this early. Well, not we, I mean we together, you and me, but I'm the only one going. So it's kind of me getting my car serviced. Anyways, I need to get on the road. I, I still need to drink my coffee. It's over here, sitting here getting some ice cool offage. And then I need to get going because I have to run by the bank and I want to get some McDonald's before I go so I have some food while I'm sitting there waiting. But today I'm getting an oil change and also getting my TPMS sensor serviced so I don't have that light flashing the whole time that I'm driving. It's really annoying and yeah, I'm gonna get it fixed today. So let me drink my coffee and let's get on the road. Let's get going, let's get this day started. you love just waking up and smelling that nice fresh morning air I don't know I always I always enjoy that but it is really actually more humid than I thought it would be it's really humid out here I don't know what I'm doing we gotta go all right guys I just pulled up into the service about 10 minutes till they open so I don't know if they'll make me wait but at least I'm here I don't even know if there's another person in this car right here but I think this is a dealer car yeah, I'm just eating my breakfast and just gonna wait 10 minutes probably, so we're good. I'm heading out from the dealership. My TPMS sensors are connected up. I got an oil change. Everything's good. My car looks good on the multi-point. So I think I'm gonna go take pictures for Johnny in a little bit in about, I guess, four hours. I, it's really early. I'm not, not used to this. So let me just head home then, I guess, and I'll chill out for a little bit, and then we'll go take pictures for him. I've been home for a couple hours now, so I think I'm actually going to run out to the camera store real quick. I want to look at some lenses, microphones, other stuff like that, and also maybe a new uh, ball head. That's it. I need to look at those. I think I need two ball heads. I want one for my other tripod as well. Bit of an unsuccessful trip to the camera store. Unfortunately, I'm having kind of a hard time deciding what I want to get. I'm really debating between like car parts and camera equipment and the problem is like I just don't have really I have like a, a pretty decent amount of money except when you're looking at camera equipment it, it, it really isn't that much money a lot of the people that aren't photographers probably won't understand that because they don't know how much camera equipment is but it's 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 really expensive you know lenses there's several lenses in there that are fifteen hundred dollars or more you know two three thousand dollars for a lens and they even they go up higher than that so you know like it's kind of it's really hard when I have like I have this amount of money that I can spend and it's like hard to find something that kind of fits my budget that is uh, that's what I really want especially when I also want to get car parts I have another issue as well when I was coming over here one of my TPMS sensors or two of them you can see the TPMS light blinking kind of like right there for some reason one or two of the TPMS sensors like turned off or something I'm not really sure what's going on but I'm probably have to take it back to the dealer have them figure it out these are brand new TPMS sensors and it looks it looks like two of them are out <laughs> thank you hopefully it'll kick back out well, I can't really I'm not. <laughs> thank you all right, we got my TPMS sensors connected. Shout out to Ricky. He's the man up here at McCarthy. Didn't even wait, make me wait in line, bro. What a good guy. What a good guy. Good man, dude. All right, now that we got the car washed, let's head home and start waxing. I know you guys can't really hear me that well. It's very loud in here. But let's get headed home. Hopefully the car will dry off by the time we get home so we can wax it. And you ready to go have some fun? Yeah, this could be a blast. All right, guys, we came to the top of the parking garage real quick to let the car dry out since the sun is, like, right on it up here. So that should be pretty perfect. I'm just going to tell Johnny what happened yesterday. You guys all pretty much know already from the video. And, yeah, we're just going to wait for the car to dry out, and then we're going to head home. And I'll probably move it so it dries out the back too but other than that we're gonna head home and start waxing this is the polisher that I got it's the Griot six inch random orbital whatever thing hopefully it's good enough for what I want and let me pop it open so we can get started so it came with one step sealant and a correcting pad hopefully I can use this for wax I think I can so we should be good and then obviously the polisher and I bought 
carnauba wax, which is what I'm going to put on. I'm not going to use this stuff right now. But let's get started on this because it's going to take a little bit to get used to the machine and everything like that. Probably going to take a quick time lapse of me waxing the car, so let's get going. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. We just finished getting all of the wax off And look how good the car looks That is crazy I used Carnuba wax and I haven't used that before But oh my god it is shiny Wow. Pretty much see every reflection. If you guys are looking into starting like waxing or polishing, I would highly recommend this Griots polisher. I got this at AutoZone for like $160, I think. And it's it's really good. I, I like it. It's got variable speed control right here. It goes all the way up to six. I used the first setting because I was putting wax on. You don't want it to be too fast. This is a six inch random orbital kit. Comes with the polisher, the pad, and some liquid stuff to use polish and, and wax to use. But I really like it and it worked really well. My car looks really, really nice. So definitely gonna use this in the future. Probably gonna do my dad's car for him. And yeah, I can also do other people's cars for money and stuff like that. So if that's another thing you guys wanna do, like start your own business, definitely look into something like this. Makes it a lot easier to wax and polish cars. That was a nice voice crack. Other than that, I think I'm just going to end the video out here. It's about 7 o'clock, and I still need to edit everything. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Also, comment what you thought, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.